Imagine standing on the surface of a distant planet billions of miles from Earth. Beneath your feet, ice. Above you in an alien sky, pure death. Today we're diving into the most dangerous corners of the universe. Ceres, Titan, Europa, and even distant exoplanets like TRAPPIST-1e. How long could you survive there? And what would be the last thing you'd ever see? Let's take a look at TRAPPIST-1, a distant star system containing seven Earth-sized exoplanets, three of which are in the so-called habitable zone. But here, like, habitable doesn't mean safe. Imagine setting foot on TRAPPIST-1e, the most promising candidate for liquid water. If the planet is covered in thick alien jungles, every plant and creature could be a deadly threat. Picture giant insect-like predators lurking in the shadows equipped with venomous stingers or razor-sharp mandibles. One bite, one sting, and your nervous system could shut down in seconds. If TRAPPIST-1e is an ocean world, the dangers might be even worse. Vast, bottomless seas could hide monstrous, intelligent predators that strike from the depths. Or, thanks to the planet's close orbit around its star, extreme tidal forces might create waves the size of skyscrapers, swallowing everything in their path. Even if no life exists, the atmosphere itself could be your doom. Too dense? You suffocate as your lungs fail to take in breathable air. Too thin? You pass out from lack of oxygen. And then there's the issue of weather. Constant superstorms, toxic rainfall, or temperature swings that turn the planet from a furnace to a deep freeze in mere hours. Dying on TRAPPIST-1e is a journey into the unknown, where every second could be your last. Comet 67, P. churyumov gerasimenko Death on an Icy Mud Ball Comet 67P is a frozen, dusty relic of the early solar system. Far from the sun, it seems calm and serene. But as it approaches, geysers of gas and ice erupt violently into space. Standing on its surface, you'd face almost no gravity at all. A single misstep could send you drifting into the void. The comet's jagged terrain and deep cracks make every movement hazardous. And when the sun's heat awakens it, high-pressure gas streams could hurl icy debris at you, shredding your suit and ending your life in moments. Dying on a comet is a battle against freezing cold, floating into space, or being obliterated by violent gas jets. Titan, a methane-filled death trap. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is unique in the solar system. It has a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and lakes of liquid methane and ethane, making it the only other place in our solar system with standing bodies of liquid on its surface. At first glance, Titan might feel strangely familiar. Its thick orange clouds give everything a surreal, dreamlike glow, making it seem almost Earth-like. But don't be fooled. This world is deadly in every possible way. If you tried to breathe on Titan, your lungs would fill with methane instead of oxygen, causing you to suffocate almost immediately. The surface temperature hovers around minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 180 degrees Celsius, which would freeze you solid in no time. Your skin would crystallize as the moisture in your body turns to ice. If you happen to fall into one of Titan's methane lakes, things would only get worse. Your spacesuit could crack from the extreme cold, allowing the dense liquid to seep in. Unlike water, methane is far less buoyant, meaning you would sink rather than float. Your frozen body would slowly drift to the lake bed, encased in a glossy layer of hydrocarbon ice, a permanent monument to your doomed visit. Dying on Titan is a grim mix of suffocation, freezing, and drowning in an alien chemical soup. WASP-12b, hell close to a star? WASP-12b is a gas giant so close to its star that its atmosphere is being ripped away. Surface temperatures reach thousands of degrees Celsius. The heat here is unfathomable. Your suit would melt and your body would vaporize within seconds. But that's not all. The planet's immense gravity could stretch you like spaghetti as the star pulls you apart atom by atom. Dying on WASP-12b is like stepping into a furnace one that devours you completely. Kepler 22b, a false paradise. Kepler 22b is one of the most famous potentially habitable exoplanets, but its reality may be far more nightmarish than inviting. If the planet is covered in vast oceans, it could be home to enormous unseen creatures lurking beneath the waves, waiting to strike. If it has dense forests, alien plants might release toxins that paralyze or suffocate you. The planet's atmosphere could be a death trap, too humid, causing heat stroke or filled with unknown gases that attack your nervous system, monstrous storms could make survival impossible, with winds strong enough to flatten anything in their path. Dying on Kepler-22b could mean being hunted by alien predators, suffocated by an unknown atmosphere, or swallowed by a never-ending storm. Let's take a closer look at Europa. 
one of Jupiter's mysterious moons. Europa, Jupiter's moon, is a frozen world blanketed by a thick layer of ice. Beneath that frigid crust, scientists believe there lies a vast subsurface ocean, one that might harbor life. But what if you found yourself stranded here? The surface temperature is a bone-chilling minus 160 degrees Celsius. Your suit would freeze solid in moments, and the biting cold would turn you into a fragile crystal statue within minutes. But that's not the worst part. Europa lies within Jupiter's radiation belt, and the deadly radiation would likely kill you faster than the cold. Imagine your body being destroyed from the inside out by invisible rays. If you somehow fell into one of Europa's icy cracks, you'd plunge into the alien ocean beneath. Don't celebrate. Hypothermia would claim you in seconds, and who knows what may lurk in those dark, endless waters. If life exists there, it might not welcome you. Dying on Europa is a brutal combination of freezing, radiation poisoning, and the terrifying unknown. Enceladus, an icy moon with geysers. Enceladus, one of Saturn's most fascinating moons, is a frozen world shrouded in a thick shell of dazzling white ice. Beneath this seemingly lifeless crust, however, lies a dark, hidden ocean, an alien sea that has never felt the warmth of sunlight. Enceladus isn't just cold. It's a cosmic freezer, with surface temperatures plummeting to a bone-shattering minus 200 degrees Celsius. Every breath you take would crystallize in an instant, your lungs freezing from the inside out if your suit were compromised. But it's not just the cold that would kill you. The moon's infamous geysers erupt with violent force, spewing towering plumes of water vapor, ice particles, and organic molecules hundreds of kilometers into space. A sudden eruption beneath your feet could launch you like a ragdoll, flinging you off the moon's weak gravity into the void with nothing but darkness to greet you. Venture too close to one of the moon's jagged, icy fissures, the infamous tiger stripes, and you risk slipping into the hidden ocean below. There's no climbing back. You'd plummet into pitch black, frigid waters colder than death itself, and you wouldn't drown immediately. First, the cold would paralyze you, freezing your body before you ever lost consciousness. Dying on Enceladus is an icy plunge into eternity, a death where your last breath freezes, your body shatters, and your memory drifts forever in a frozen sea beneath an alien sky, Ceres, a dwarf planet with a mysterious surface. Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt, is a peculiar world covered with enigmatic bright spots believed to be salts and ice. But surviving here is no small feat. With barely any atmosphere and temperatures hovering around minus 105 degrees Celsius, you'd suffocate in seconds. The low gravity would turn every movement into a dangerous leap. Misstep? and you might float away into space or crash hard onto its rocky surface. Scientists speculate there could be liquid water beneath the surface, but reaching it would mean braving freezing subterranean lakes, a quick path to drowning or freezing. Dying on Ceres is a grim mix of suffocation, freezing, and the perils of low gravity. Every one of these worlds is a testament to how hostile space is to human life. Yet despite their dangers, they also hold incredible mysteries. Mysteries that one day we may risk everything to explore.